Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sakshi Goel. The topic is Law of Definite Proportions from the section Laws of Chemical Combinations. Law of Definite Proportions or Law of Constant Compositions was proposed by French chemist Joseph Proust in 1799. He worked with two samples of cupric carbonate, CuCO3. One was natural origin and another was synthetic. He found that the composition of elements present in both the samples was same. Below is shown is the table for the findings. So percent copper in natural origin as well as synthetic was found to be 51.35 percent of oxygen in both the samples was 9.74 and percent carbon in both the samples was 38.91 this law states that a chemical compound always contains exactly the same proportion of elements by mass irrespective of the source a chemical compound always contains the elements in fixed ratio by mass. Pure water obtained from river, sea, well, etc. always contains hydrogen and oxygen combined in ratio 1 is to 8. Let's try to understand this law with an example. Copper oxide was prepared by two different methods. In one case, 1.75 gram of metal gave 2.19 gram of metal oxide. In second case, 1.14 gram of the metal gave 1.43 gram of the oxide. Show that the given data illustrates the law of constant composition. So the table shows that for case 1, Mass of metal is 1.75 gram. Mass of metal oxide is 2.19 gram. So the percent of metal in metal oxide equals to mass of copper upon mass of copper oxide multiplied by 100. For first case, it is 1.75 upon 2.19 multiplied by 100, which gave 79.9%. For the second case, 1.14 gram of metal and 1.43 gram of metal oxide. So percent of metal in metal oxide is equal to 1.14 upon 1.43 multiplied by 100. This also gives 79.9 percent. Thus the copper oxide prepared by both the methods contain copper in the same proportion by mass. This proves laws a law of constant composition. Try this question yourself. Zinc sulfate crystal contains 22.65% zinc and 43.9% water. If the law of constant proportions is true, then the mass of zinc required to give 40 gram crystal will be how much? Now total mass of crystal given is 40 grams. Percent of zinc present in crystal given is 22.65%. So the mass of zinc in crystal will be equal to 22.65% of 40 grams. That would be equal to 22.65 upon 100 multiplied by 40 this will give 9.06 grams so 9.06 gram of zinc is required to give 40 gram of crystal i hope the topic is clear to you you can leave comments so that i can improve the lecture if needed next is lecture on Law of multiple proportions. Thank you.